close the door, you're spoiling my soundtrack. <laughs> Trying to figure out who this girl is. <laughs> oh, well, I she's supposed she's to be the hotel. next Mitzi Gaynor right. or something. Yeah. I'm okay, we're ready anytime? All right. Mr. Ross, I think if someone just heard the plot of Turning Point and knew that it was Shirley MacLaine and Anne Bancroft, they would be surprised when they saw it because they would expect the dancer, the active dancer one, to be to Shirley. To be Shirley, yes. And uh, the housewife. It's ironic, I yes. know, to be Anne. What, uh, I didn't see it that way, you see, and I thought Anne, uh, I thought that Anne was the right casting for the role of the ballerina, and, uh, but it is true that Shirley is in life the dancer, and Anne is not a dancer at all, but Anne worked very hard. She coached for about two months just how to sit and stand and hold her head, the carriage of her neck, her shoulders, her arms, and, uh, it's a, uh, it's just one of those sort of quirks of casting, I guess, you know. But I think it's interesting that you never saw it, uh, apparently, then. The other way. Uh, with Shirley as the dancer. You never no. toyed with that idea? No, no, never did. The, uh, Shirley was, uh, because of the, the, the role of Emma in the movie is too disciplined and too uh, uh, single-minded, and, and Shirley is such a warm and generous personality that uh, I think it made it more credible it did for me I could understand that she didn't have the ambition and the drive to give everything up for her career as the character of uh, Anne does in the movie I think many people will know that you are married to Nora Kay mm -hmm. who was a really extraordinary dancer yeah, she was. is this story in any way at all biographical no not at all because Nora uh, stopped dancing at the peak of her career and never face the problem that Emma has in, 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 in the movie, that Anne Bancroft has in the movie. But it, what it is full of is full of uh, information that Nora was able to impart to Arthur Lawrence and, and full of uh, details that only people who have spent their life in the ballet could possibly bring to a movie about this subject. But it's not autobiographical in any way. No. Was there ever a time, though, when she said, uh, gee, I don't know if I did the right thing by stopping when I did? No, it was solely her choice. I mean, in our own life, it was solely her choice. We were on tour together. Uh, we had a ballet company, and we were touring Europe. And the season came to an end, and we would drive. I was driving to Italy where I was going to work, and she suddenly started throwing her toe shoes out the window of the car as we were driving <laughs> to Germany. And she said, I'm not going to dance anymore. And I said, really? And uh, she said, no. And we had just gotten married, and she felt that she had fulfilled herself as an artist and in her profession, and that she was. She thought if the marriage was going to last and work, it was more important at this moment. But she never felt deprived, as, as the Shirley MacLaine character feels in The Turning Point. So it's, it, there's no analogy at all. If there's anything that's based slightly on fact, it's the story of Leslie Brown, who plays the daughter in the film, because Leslie is the daughter of two ballet dancers who were in the company, who did leave to open up a school in Phoenix, as a matter of fact, and did get a scholarship, and, and uh, ultimately, and is dancing with Baryshnikov this week in Washington. So it's, it's closer to her personal story than it is to ours. The male dancer, Baryshnikov, right. I think it's going to really be quite amazing mm. to a lot of people who see him on film because mm. we all know what a really extraordinary well, dancer he is. Well, he's absolutely phenomenal. We were so lucky that at the time that we could make this movie, uh, an artist as extraordinary as, as, and at his peak as, as Baryshnikov is at this moment was available to us to have in the movie. And it's, there's no record of anybody in film at the extraordinary acme of their powers as he is. And I don't know when you saw the film, but the audience always gasps when, they, when he leaps, and they always applaud at the end of all his variations. Did that happen when you saw the film, too? I was the one. It was a oh, small, good. it was a screening <laughs> room. I was the one gasping, gasping. and, and uh, <laughs> nice ooing and awing. Yes, he, yeah. he really. He's phenomenal, isn't he? Yes. Yeah. Uh, just more so than any athlete you yeah. could even think about. Well, because it's a combination of great, great athletics. It's as though you were the de an Olympic decathlon. And, and art. I mean, it's a very, very difficult marriage. Dance is the most demanding of all the arts. Does he have a future as an actor, do you think? I think he does, and I know he wants to act, and uh, uh, he's been working on his English because he speaks with a heavy Russian accent. And I think he will. I think he will, yes. Because he's, he's a wonderful actor on the stage in the convention of the ballet, 
And I think he gives a damn good performance in the movie. Didn't you? Didn't you think Oh, good? yes. I think he has that marvelous eye contact with the camera yeah. that's so important. We have an expression which says, the camera loves him. Do you know, some people look wonderful on camera, and Misha does. Mr. Ross, of course you're hopeful, and I think uh, with good reason that there will be some Academy nominations come out of this film. I pray there will be. I am. Yes. Makes me nervous, though. <laughs> and um, if, if it should be, if it came out that, um, say, Bancroft got a nomination and Shirley MacLaine didn't, mm. how would you feel, or vice versa, how would you feel about that? Oh, well, ideally one would wish that they were both nominated and ideally one would wish that they both got the award because I think that their performances are tied very closely together and I think Anne couldn't have realized what she did without Shirley's playing with her and the same is true for Shirley and uh, uh, so it's a very difficult question to uh, I would feel badly for either one of them were one to win because I think they both deserve it and they've also achieved what I think is the most difficult thing to achieve, which is, is to play brilliantly together, you know, which is harder than giving just a single virtuoso performance. Was there ever any competition between them? As no. No? Anne was very anxious that Shirley play that role, because she was very, Anne was cast first, because she was very anxious that an actress of stature and a strong actress play with her, because she's intelligent enough and generous enough as an actress and sure enough of herself as an actress to know that you're better if you're acting with a good person. It makes you look better. Did you ever feel pressure that you wouldn't favor one over the other as far I as what you did as the director? I never thought of that. I honestly never You thought. didn't? No. No, because we had a very good atmosphere and there was none of that sort of idiot competition. I they were never competitive. And they were, Anne was very happy in her role. It is, in terms of lines, a slightly smaller part than Shirley's, and Shirley was very happy in her role, and it, was, it never arose. There was never any problem about dressing rooms or who got what close up, and it just never came up. That says a lot for you, and it says yeah. a lot for Turning Point. Well, it was, it was, we, we all knew we were working on something special, and everybody worked really well and together to make the picture. One last question, Mr. Ross, and that is, what is your comment to people who will say or who might think that, oh, this is just a ballet picture? What is your comment to those Well, people? I think that nobody who sees the picture says that. No. So I, I think that uh, uh, I, my comment to them would be that you owe it to yourself. You're depriving yourself of a terrific experience if you don't go to the theater and see the movie because everyone that's seen it that had any reservations about because it was a ballet, it comes out a totally converted person. Mr. Ross, it's nice having you here in Dallas. Thank you. It's nice to be here. It's nice to see you again, too. Mm -hmm. I have been getting them all along. Uh, I tell you, let's just uh, take one, and uh, because I'm not sure the chairs have always been the same. Yeah. yeah let, I'll just kind of look off in this direction. You're, you're awfully profile. Would it be better? That's the, I think, which way? Which, which way should she look? Well, should I move? At this angle throughout the interview. Yeah. So I should. It would be more logical for me to get her in front of Okay. Yeah. Can I cheat even this much? Do you think? Okay. I'll talk to you. <laughs> That's better. Good girl. <laughs> What shall I say? Shall I